Today's update on Israel-Iran war. Let's begin with some good news. Today Israel said, for the first time since the approval of the opening of the Ashdod port, eight WFP trucks of flour entered Gaza from the port in coordination with the Kagatun line. The trucks underwent a thorough security inspection at the Ashdod port and then admitted into Gaza via the Karem Shalom crossing. This is what the stuff in 700 big trucks looks like. They're all waiting on one side of a place called Karem Shalom to be picked up by people from the UN. The IRGC has stated that Israel's threats against Iran's nuclear facilities could cause Iran to rethink its nuclear policies. The threat to mankind arises from the possibility of escalating tensions between countries like Israel and Iran over nuclear issues. If these tensions lead to military action or conflict, it could have devastating consequences, including loss of life, widespread destruction, and the potential for nuclear weapons to be used. Such events could endanger not only the immediate populations of the involved countries but also have broader impacts on global stability, security, and well-being. After attacks on Israel by Iran, the United States today announced new sanctions on Iran's drone productions. British David Cameron said, not only was Iran's reckless attack a total failure, but they've revealed to the world their true nature as the malign influence in the region. Today, alongside the US, we are sanctioning leading Iranian military figures and entities as we continue to hold the regime to account. EU Chief Charles Michel said, We have decided to put in place sanctions against Iran, it is a clear signal that we wanted to send, the European Council President said at an EU summit in Brussels. The idea is to target the companies that are needed for the drones, for the missiles. The state of Palestine has garnered recognition from 140 countries worldwide. Vadan Patel, the Deputy State Department spokesman for the United States, emphasized the nation's stance, stating that the United States has been very clear consistently that premature actions in New York, even with the best intentions, will not achieve statehood for the Palestinian people. Yesterday, President Biden said, Iran recently launched one of the largest missile and drone attacks the world has ever seen against Israel. Together with our allies and partners, the U.S. defended Israel, helping defeat this attack. And today, we're holding Iran accountable with sanctions and export controls. But today, the Jerusalem Post said, an Israeli missile strikes targeted a site in Iran early Friday morning. Two Israeli defense officials confirmed moreover the Jerusalem Post released a photo of explosions. A U.S. official also confirmed the attack, stating we were not surprised while also saying Israel informed the U.S. in advance of the strike. This is the most dangerous step taken by Israel. Now we have wait and see its effects.